Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are taking a look at high level team of the season today. We're going to take like a thousand foot view, kind of swing it over what happened last year and just talk about what it means for this market. The panic selling and the price drops, the market crash that we have seen already. Talk through that. And since this promo is still a couple weeks out, we think talk through some potential scenarios and on prices, you know, even though we're a couple weeks ahead, talk about where prices could be going. If you have some cards in your team, should you be selling them? Should you not? And just look at those graphs and talk about what happens during this time frame because there's a lot that goes on. And again, we're going to take a look at a high level here. We're going to get into it deeper for sure as we get closer and get more information. But as of right now, all we're going off of is that we know the promo is going to be pretty soon and that there are a couple leaks being thrown around on the Twitter machine. And that's what I want to start off with today. Uh, now, we've looked at this already in another video on the channel, but just to kind of show you this, this account right here leaked all the foot birthday stuff. So this is what people are looking at and saying, hey, this is going to be legit team of the season starting April 23rd. And, you know, a lot of people are viewing this account as like going to be correct. Now, of course, we also saw yesterday that they had some incorrect leaks that they didn't end up posting. Uh, so, you know, how how much weight can we put on this that team of the season is actually going to start April 23rd? I'm not sure, right? I'm not entirely sure. But I want to talk about last year on FIFA as well with team of the season, how they did things and how it could be similar to last year with its art, with how it's already setting up already and of course with all the panic selling that that tweet right there and that information that people are talking about already caused the market and and those prices that went down because of that so first things first though let's take a look at last year on fifa 20 because we're going to be looking a lot at this from last year now of course fifa 20 was different because for the first time ever we had a team of the season so far because of course with covid and with you know a lot of the games being stopped there were not actually games going on and the seasons weren't finishing it was kind of at a standstill so they ran this tots so far promotion which was basically the normal team of the season as we knew it just with the so far added on the end but this promotion last year uh kind of like how it's starting to look right now we had foot birthday end so last year where the timeline was was we had foot birthday basically end um, and it was over, right? The second team of foot birthday was out of packs on that Friday. Um, and EA actually dropped both teams, both foot birthday teams in packs for that weekend. And then what they did after that was, uh, kind of like how this foot birthday foot player days promo is going on right now. That's kind of what they did last year is they put the foot birthdays back in packs instead of doing foot player days. Then when that ended, literally that ended on a Monday or Tuesday, and then they dropped a loading screen with the team of the season most consistent vote that next Friday. So it was basically, if that schedule plays out again right now this week, we would be looking at a potential loading screen and a vote for the most consistent team of the season starting this coming Friday. And that's why I'm going to start talking about team of the season a little bit. Because if that April 23rd date for the start of team of the season is true, then we're probably going to have some information about it coming even this week because potentially that vote could start on Friday. And that's the big thing that I want to talk about because there could be more selling coming later on this next week if that is the case. So now we've already seen the market drop a little bit and I'm not entirely, I'm not going to sit here and say that I think that's the way that it has to go. EA can do whatever they want to do this year. They can drop a loading screen, drop a vote if they're going to do a vote, if they're not, however they want to do it. Um, but that's how it was last year. So that's why I wanted to explain that. But we've already started to see the market go down. The market last year was very different because we were blindsided, right? We had a loading screen that said, team of the season is coming out in seven days basically that loading screen that could come on friday telling us that hey the vote is starting for team of the season there really weren't any leaks maybe a little bit and people started selling a tiny bit just because they knew team of the season was coming but it was more of a gradual drop off and we're going to look at some cards today from fifa 20 and kind of show you guys that and with what happened so we're going to take a look at just a few cards talk about out of pack specials icons icon moments and even some team of the years right because i want to talk about these cards and what happened too because a lot of you guys want to know are prices going to drop during team of the season and for like 90 percent of the stuff that answer is going to be yes that answer is going to be yes because cards drop big time during team of the season because the the big thing about tots is the cards that come out yes they have crazy statistics and you know crazy boosts and the cards just look really nutty but also 
they're cheap. And that's the biggest thing that makes the market crash is that these TOTS cards come out, they have pretty high pack supply and they're supplied on the market and they're cheap, right? And that's what really makes stuff go down on the game when team of the season comes out. So let's start with some out of pack specials. Shapeshifter, Lucas Mora, right? Very popular card last year. Right, we had foot birthday happening. Boom, this card's rising up with you know, you know, people are playing FIFA because COVID, they're at home. Uh, the market's picking up because people are getting coins, they're opening FIFA points during foot birthday, and then boom, after foot birthday, the market is very, very high. But what happens is they drop that loading screen on that Friday, April 17th, announcing the vote starting, and boom, we we remember what happened a couple days after that. Huge, huge panic selling. This card drops almost a hundred thousand coins uh, on the PlayStation down to 300,000 coins. And then what happens is we have a little bit of a barrier. We have a little bit of a time frame, right? Because Tots most consistent then starts that next Friday. So this card kind of, you know, chills, actually rises back up and and the panic and the stuff got its lowest basically that weekend, the Saturday and Sunday before community Tots actually started in the game. That's like when stuff was its lowest last time. Now, it got crazy, crazy low on that Saturday. I don't know if you guys remember. I mean, I could pull up some screenshots and I probably will later this week of just absolutely mental panic that we saw last year, like specifically on team of the season, team of the years. I mean, icon moments, there were crazy, crazy drop-offs on all of these cards on that Saturday. Then that was because it became, it came as a surprise, right? It came when nobody was expecting it. Now, of course, we've had leaks already and people's minds are already switching on to the fact that we're gonna have team of the season soon. So that kind of stuff, is already happening and that's why you saw some of the drop-offs that you saw already today on the market you take a look at some of these cards sterling is 1.05 mil awar who was you know a million coins when he was in packs is now 980 adama's under a million uh coins tamori is 634 atal is 700k i could look ac across the rest of this market in fiva 21 and show you so many cards that have dropped off, you know, 15, 20, 30% in price in the past 24 hours because of that panic. Now, some stuff has rebounded too, right? Team of the Year Alfonso Davies is the one that I looked at this morning. This guy was down at 1.18. He was just back up to 1.3 and, you know, he's kind of bounced a little bit down since then. But some of these cards like Ramos, who was 1.4 last week, is down a lot because people know that this stuff is going to probably continue to drop into team of the season. So they're just starting to get it out now. And if you have really high tier cards in your club and some out of pack specials that you think are going to drop during team of the season, uh, which they most likely are, um, you know, this week is probably going to be a good time to get them out. It's probably going to be a good time with foot player days going on. It's put some coins on the market. Maybe some people will buy stuff back a little bit. As you can see, you had a huge amount of panic here on this Lucas, then a small bit of a rise. Watch with this. This is team of the year, Kevin De Bruyne, right? You had a small bit of, you had the big day of panic here. Then you had a little bit of a rise back. He went from 2.5 you know, lows back up to 2.6, maybe 2.7 at his peak. Uh, and then he can just con he continued to drop down into the beginning of May. So um, with that being said, I think that we we're not going to have this big nosedive right here. We're not going to have this big nosedive this year. It's going to be a bit more of a gradual sell off. And you've already started to see that happen. But a lot of this stuff is probably going to go lower than where it is right now. Speaking of like icon moments as well, take a look at this Mateus, right? You see the actual panic come here on that April 17th, April 18th day from 2.9 million coins. This guy drops down all the way to 2.4, right? In the next week, um, you know, leading up to team of the season consistent, most consistent, it goes from 2.4 all the way up to 2.7 almost, 2.6 mids. And then he drops back down a little bit on the weekend, gets supplied 2.4, 2.3. Prem Tots comes and the pack supply gets absolutely destroyed. You know, people are buying the new cards. They open up a ton of packs. You know, big time Prem team of the seasons come on the market. But then in that next week, Prem Tots is the most hype one. So you see a lot of a bounce back after Prem Tots, by the way, just kind of mentioning that. He goes from 2.0 mil back to 2.3. There might have been some Bundesliga Tots hype in there as well. I kind of forget when Bundesliga was for those links. But ultimately, what you see here is just a gradual drop off with a few, you know, ebbs and flows in between. Same thing with De Bruyne, right? You see, boom, 2.9 million coins. He goes down to 2.3. He rebounds and goes up to 2.7, but then just continues to drop off during team of the season because also what happens during the season is that SBC fodder gets ridiculously 
high in price. And we'll talk about that in a second. But if you have team of the year cards uh, that are in your team, especially this year with how team of the year is not as hyped as it has been in years past, I would be looking to ship some of, the, some of these guys out. I really, really would. Even though you have a guy like Kimmich who's like one five mil, mil or one of the best CDMs in the game, or this Bruno Fernandez, 2.79 mil, the way they're doing things this year, it looks like team of the seasons could be and probably will be higher rated and have better stats than these team of the season cards. We saw it happen last year with De Bruyne and with Mane. Again, on this De Bruyne graph, you see Prem Tots is happening right around here, right? Boom, 2.3 mil. The team of the season, De Bruyne comes out with better stats and it's 4 mil. So this one goes from 2.3 to 2.7 just based off the hype of Prem Tots and the panic selling of people who wanted to use KDB. But then this one came out and it was just, it was way too expensive with the plus four pace, the plus eight defense, not even Hullet Gang. He's 90 gang uh, for the Kevin De Bruyne Tots last year. So yes, you're going to see some movements like that with team of the years as well. Like Bruno's team of the year card. You might see this get down, you know, 2.3, 2.4 million coins when we get to the time for Prem Tots when the panic is really hit. But then Bruno team of the season comes out. Let's say it's 98 or 99 rated. And it's got, you know, just like the all 90 stats like KDB had last year. Then you're going to potentially see this card with 399 stats be like four and a half, five million coins right away. And then this card's going to rebound back up two, three, four hundred thousand coins. So that's going to be a market movement you can see there for the high tier um, market as well. But again, I want to look at SBC fodder really fast too. And this is going to take me just a quick second to look up and, and, and show you. But SBC fodder during the um, time frame of team of the season goes absolutely bonkers team of the weeks as well informs last year went bananas um, just because they were so high in demand for SBCs now it's going to be hard to find a little bit of this because I probably am going to sort by version gold rare really fast because uh, 86 rated gold rares is what I'm looking for right 86 rated gold rares let's look at screen ER, right a center back probably a little bit more of expensive of an 88 Take a look what happens during team of the season, right? Of course, we're in May. Stuff drops off as we actually are in February. We head up through March. Stuff gets really expensive. April's expensive. We see a drop off towards team of the season. Team of the season is starting in here. Boom. Look at all, look at all this stuff going exploding into the summer. But look at these movements during team of the season. Even though you don't you have these explosions during summer heat and stuff, take a look at Let's go can I zoom in here at all, uh, EA Sports? Can I zoom in a team of the season? Uh, yes, right here. We're in TOTS in May, right? So stuff goes down, but look at these fluctuations, right? Down to 15, up to 17, up to 18. So you don't see the huge explosions like you would see. Maybe this is just like this year we have the Icon moments or the Icon player pick SBC. And this is during summer heat when you have crazy, crazy amounts of SBC demand. Um, but you have tons of supply happening during team of the season with upgrade packs as well. So you don't see the fodder move that much. Um, it just does like small spikes here and there. Um, you know, that could be a little bit different this year as well. But I just kind of wanted to set that stage and show you guys how the fluctuations on the fodder are different during a huge promo like that um, than they are during the uh, other parts of the year when we don't have as much supply. Of course, when we don't have as much supply, you see stuff spiking up and down like absolute crazy. Let me look at PK from uh, FIFA 20 as well during his card during team of the season. Now, during May for this card too, you saw a big drop off, right? You saw a big drop off. Um, actually, I think PK, was PK and team of the season most consistent? I don't remember if he was in... Uh, Tots most consistent or not last year. He was, yes, he was 93. So he was out of packs. So this wasn't the best uh, one to show you. Um, but of course, you know, he went out of packs and he had a huge fodder spike too. So some of these cards that go out of packs that are SBC fodder could be good buys as well and fluctuations because there's going to be SBCs that happen during this promo um, and SBC fodder is going to move around. But uh, it's you're not going to have the huge, crazy, insane spikes like you saw earlier this year with you know the cheapest players this year 86 is going to like 40,000 coins i don't know if you'll have that during team of the season just because the immense amount of supply that you'll see on the market like this henderson i don't know if you're going to see 40k during tots right you're seeing him drop off now you know maybe he'll fluctuate between like 22 23 and like 27 28k during team of the season because there's consistent supply and also upgrade packs so i wanted to kind of show you guys that stuff um for this year on FIFA, what you could be seeing on the market. But if you have stuff in your team 
uh, that you want to get rid of. Like maybe you have this Lucas card uh, or something in your squad and, and you you want to get it out before team of the season comes. I still think you want to do that sooner rather than later. I think there's more panic to come. I think some people have sold cards off, but it's not over yet, right? We're still going to see more and more selling as we get nearer towards the promo and as it, act and it actually gets confirmed. That's going to be a step for the market as well because last year you saw all that selling when a promo screen dropped. I think you're going to have to wait to see us get closer to actual team of the season time frame, maybe the vote coming out to see another accentuated drop in the market. But probably um, now this week with foot player days and people saying, hey, yes, that leak has kind of come out. It's on the back of our minds. But, you know, prices dropped a little bit, but they rebounded. People are still comfortable with playing with these players, buying cards, trying them out. You're not seeing huge drop-offs and them staying low. So that's kind of what I want to bring this video to you guys with. If you want to rock an untradeable team for two weeks, be my guest. Uh, I still think that we could have one more fodder spike before uh, team of the season actually comes out. I feel like they still have an icon upgrade pack up their sleeve that they could release for, you know, a one week or 10 day time frame, which would be plenty of enough time for us to complete it. You know, even if they make the SBC, you know, five, 600,000 coins for like, a, or maybe even 800K for like a moment's icon SBC. Um, I think that is still something that they could have up their sleeve unless they really just want to <laughs> screw fodder investors and drop those fodder prices into the team of the season. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about right now with this market. And I just wanted to show you some of those graphs to show you that it continues to just drop down as we get towards team of the season. So if you want to take the cash on some stuff in your team, go ahead and do that. If you're fine rocking untradeable squads, we've had so many objectives this year that if you guys haven't full sent your clubs into other SBCs, you're going to have some, you're going to have some untradeable, um, just objective and SBC cards that are in your club. And if you don't, I mean, you can still grab some here. Asenjo, you can go and get, you can go get um, the Samba Stars if you want to get a lower tier card. You know, you've had, I think you still have, is Chowdhury still out or is he away? I think Chowdhury may have gone away. Uh, yeah, Chowdhury may have gone away, but you still have the milestone players that are out here as well. There aren't, not terrible ones that are in here, but you know, Maybe we'll see another objective player today on Monday. Who knows? Anyways, that's the video for today, boys. Just kind of like the thousand foot level of preparation, just kind of what to expect during team of the season. And especially as it relates to this year, um, yes, we did already start to see a little bit of a sell-off and you've seen prices go down, especially on some of the icon moments. I think that's where I've seen it the most. Um, but I think a lot of the stuff is going to continue to drop. Um, as we get closer and closer towards that team of the season time frame, 6.2 for this. I mean, that's pretty freaking low for where he was on the weekend. How much is Desai? 1.8? 1.9? So this guy's still kind of chilling around 1.9, but a lot of this stuff is just going to continue dropping. So if you find a point during this next week where you can get out and you can take the coins on some of these icons, maybe some of those out of pack specials, be my guest, go for it, take those coins. And uh, if you want to start preparing by like stocking your club with gold rares for upgrade SBCs, that's a big part of team of the season as well. People trying to pack those cards. I'm going to be sending uh, a decent amount of coins into those SBCs to trying to pack cards as well. So that's kind of the preparation video for today, boys. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Tons of videos coming up during Team of the Season. Lots of analysis, lots of preparation, and lots of coin-making times on this game are going to be had. So it's been Nathan for the Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out. <laughs>